Okay, so we're looking at three things in this video and talking about how they're related. Direct variation, slope, and positive or negative correlations. Now, a slope usually refers to your rate of change, right? How much is your y increasing um, for every x that's increasing, right? Delta y or delta x. Direct variation uh, is specifically referring to a type of situation where the slope is constant, right? Slope is constant, and the function is proportional. So this means two things. This means that your slope is always the same. And more than that, you only have to multiply x by a number to get to y. So specifically, an equation where y is equal to something, let's say m, some slope times x, there is no y-intercept, right? b is equal to 0. And a positive or negative correlation could occur in a direct variation. It could occur when there's a any type of slope. Um, what this refers to here, I know this word pops up a lot, so I wanted to mention it, is that when, so a positive correlation is what? Well, that's when y increases or decreases, right? So when y increases or x decreases, x also does the same thing. In other words, if y is increasing, so is x. If y is decreasing, so is x. Uh, a negative correlation means that the variables are moving in opposite ways, right? So when y increases or decreases, now what happens is that x does the opposite. So if y is increasing, x is decreasing. If y is uh, decreasing, then x is increasing. So we can all look at this if we just look at a, like maybe one or two examples. So let's say that we have x and y, right? Some kind of table. And x is equal to 0, right? 1 and 2. We'll keep it really simple. And here, let's say we're multiplying by 2. If we're multiplying by 2 every time, then y would equal 0 times 2 or 0, 1 times 2 or 2, or, and 2 times 2 or 4. As a graph, this would be a direct variation. Why? Well, let's take, take a look. Let's use my rough graph here. Um, we have our points here, 0, 0, and then 1, 2, 1, and then 1, 2, and then 2, and 3, 4. So this is a linear relationship, right? Because the slope is always the same. It's always going up by 2, right? Every time x goes up by 1, y goes up by 2. So that's what slope is. It looks at as y is changing, how is x changing? So when you can say when y goes up by 2, x goes up by 1. And since that always happens, the slope is constant. It's a linear function, right? It forms a straight line when we graph it. Now it's a direct variation because the only thing you have to do here to figure out the relationship between x and y is multiply x by 2 every single time. And notice that it crosses the origin here, right? That's a key feature of a direct variation. So the equation, like we said, is just y is equal to 2 times x. And that's a direct variation. y equals m times x, or usually k times x. And 2 is just the number they refer to as your um, constant of variation, they might call it like that, or the slope. And it's always the same number. But sometimes, of course, um, and this is a positive correlation, because um, as x is increasing, so is y. But if you went in the reverse, if you said y is decreasing by 2, then x would decrease by 1, right? So if y increases by 2, x increases by 2. If you look at it the other way, if y decreases by 2, so does x. That's a positive correlation. So now we're going to talk about something that's not a direct variation and has a negative correlation. Now, um, something that's not a direct variation could be any linear function or any function, really, we have to do more than just multiply x by a number to get y. In other words, let's say we had a different right, table, x and y. And this time, right, let's say when x is 0, y is 2, right? But when x is 1, what's going to happen now? Well, here, right, let's say our function was y equals negative 2x plus 2. Okay, well, first of all, you can tell it's going to be a negative correlation if we have a slope that's negative, right? If our m value is negative. And you can also tell it's not going to be a direct variation because we're adding something onto it.
is not just multiplication. So it could be a direct variation, by the way, if it was just equal to y equals negative 2x. That would be a negative correlation, right, and a direct variation. But as soon as you have a negative 2x and something, or a positive 2x and something, plus or minus, right, if the y intercept is not 0, it's not a direct variation. So we plug this in, we get negative 2 plus 2, or 0. And then we plug 2 in, we get negative 4 plus 2, which is negative 2. And now we plot these points, 0, 2, 1, 0, and 2, negative 2 down here. So now we get another linear relationship, right? Except a couple of things are different. It's not direct variation. And notice it doesn't cross the origin, right? When it doesn't cross the origin, it can't be um, a direct variation. So here the slope is constant. And in that sense, this is a proportional relationship. The slope is constant. But on, a, on the whole, you can't just multiply any number, any x, by a single value to get y. Think about it. If I multiply anything by 0, I can't just get 2. If I multiply a different number by 1, I can't get 0. The only way to do that is multiply 1 by 0. But then 2 has to be multiplied by negative 1 to get negative 2. So we can't just multiply x by something here. We have to also add or subtract. So it's not direct, it's not proportional. And again, it's negative because if you think about what's happening, as y is going along here, it's decreasing, right? 2 to 0 to negative 2. But what x is doing is x is increasing. And if you go the other way, if y is decreasing, is increasing from negative 2 to 0 up to 2, x would be decreasing. It's a negative correlation. So you have these three words that are thrown around, correlations, variations, and slopes, and they all connect. Um, but a direct variation is specifically when you have a proportional relationship where the line crosses the origin. All right, hope this helped.